Peace, peace, y'all. Welcome to today's mathematics with your girl, Sunshine Monet L. Today is 5, 17, 8. You already know we in the month of five. This is the fifth house energy talking about temperance, your heart chakra, Leo space. The key for the month of five is implement what you learned in the realms of stability, determination, and reliability in the month of four, right? That'll help you in the power of living your truth and things like that. Ooh, look, a rooster. There go the rooster right there. So, Today's the day 17, one and seven, knowledge and God. So we love it here. Meditation is key. Speaking of spirit is key. Let, allowing that portal to be open for you is most definitely key. Getting that spiritual knowledge. Happy holy day to my wolves in the back. One and seven to come together and make eight. So we're empowering ourselves and we're also putting ourselves in a space of enforcement with this knowledge that we are downloading and uploading into the ethers. Ashe. So transformation, confidence, courage. You know, enforcement of what we learn in that space, transformations. We love it here. Solar plexus chakra. So we have the five and eight come together. That's 13. That's the karmic debt number. One and three, knowledge and your creative self, knowledge of understanding. How are you how are you expressing the knowledge that you have collected in your space? How are what are you creating? With the knowledge that you got on that 17, that knowledge you gain from God, you know, because if you're just holding it and hoarding it, they ain't going to do nothing for you, baby. They ain't going to do nothing for the collective around you that needs you to do and express what you need to express. So that comes together and make four. So you already know we create with it. We materialize and manifesting with it. And it brings us into the year eight, eight. I don't got to talk about the eight too much, but you know, we in the year of dragon, we in the year of transformations, occultism, death and rebirth, people, secrets coming out to the forefront, you know, Oya is the energy that rules over the elders, the witches and the marketplace. So you see a lot of transformation happening in those, um, in those realms of life, you know, in a very dramatic way, because eight is also the dramatic it's high highs and low lows. So when that four comes together. With the eight, it makes 12. So we on our one and twos, our knowledge and wisdom. Today is just a really good day to gain knowledge and wisdom and really implement and manifest and materialize with that for real, for real. Because I wanted to come together and make three. Back to the space of expression. Back to the space of understanding that said knowledge and wisdom. Ashe, let's talk about what's going on astrologically. We start the day off. Well, I'm in Arizona, so I don't know. <laughs> this is still East Coast. Peace, how you doing? 66% Western Gibbous Moon will rising at 2.34 p.m. and setting at 2.58 a.m. We are in Virgo with it, mental. So that is the knowledge. That is the intellect. You see how the stars are always in alignment. We are in the Leo on the Vedic scale as well as Leo constellation. So when our happenings, it's obtaining the riches, obtaining the things that, you know, we wish to have from that said knowledge. And what we're into implementing with that Virgo energy, right? We love the divine. And guess what? It's in the eighth house. So it's in the house of transformation, death, and rebirth. So, and empowerment and enforcement. So, you know, go ahead and enforce your internal Virgo, your moral integral code, your routine and your habits, you know, all those things. <laughs> and then... The sun rises at 5.42 a.m. and setting at 8.10 p.m. The moon is the furthest distance to the Earth. That happens today at 3.36 p.m., which is called a Paji in the astronomy world. Also, asteroid two palace is at opposition, so the best visibility of the night. I know I didn't do mathematics yesterday, so I want to give you guys some honorable mentions. Ceres was stationary yesterday at 12.19 a.m. and began retrograde motion. We started experiencing the a.m. visibility of Aries, the p.m. visibility of Scorpius. Mercury entered... Taurus at 3 36 p.m. So now it's in Taurus in the ninth house on the zodiac scale. So materializing with our throat chakra is definitely in alignment with today's mathematics on this Venus day. And then, yeah, and uh, just to let you guys know, who Ceres as it's going retrograde is in Capricorn in the fifth house, so it's providing that agricultural nurturing energy to our root chakra and going back to our inner child to heal some of those things happening in our root chakra, some of the traumas and challenges that we've had. So we can do a new. That's what I got for you today, my guys. But nobody's reach out to a goddess if you would like a personal reading. Gang, gang.